Hi, and welcome to Esther's Gardening Adventures. I thought I'd take you on another experiment with me. Some of you have asked when I'm gonna start sowing tomato seeds, and truth be told, I got kind of tied up with other things this weekend. I sowed some herbs, which I'm gonna post a video on soon, um, but I probably won't get to tomatoes. We're having uh, a big event next week, so I probably won't be able to get to the tomato sowing until mid, um, March, which is about when I planned on doing it anyway, just scheduling out when I'll have time to do things mostly. Um, so I hope you'll be satisfied with, in the meantime, me doing an experiment with 16 year old tomato seeds. All right, so I'm gonna talk a little bit in this video about trying to grow these into seedlings. And I'm gonna be using a process called the winter sowing process, which basically involves using something like a milk jug or a big soda bottle as a mini greenhouse that you put outside in the winter instead of like using grow lights inside to grow your seedlings for your spring or summer garden. If you wanna know more about that, please check out my Winter Sowing 101 series where I break down everything you need to know. But I think I've given you enough information to move forward this time. So here's the story about these seeds. You can see it's all wrinkled. Uh, it was torn in the corner. I think that my dog did that maybe. Um, so last year, in February, before the coronavirus was known to be a big concern in the US, um, I went with my mom and dad to a seed exchange. My mom had brought some seeds she wanted to give, you know, for exchanging, and I'd brought some that I'd bought um, or that I had left over from some I'd bought the prior year. Um, and we were. <laughs> She, I was going through to see what she was donating and I saw she had this, at that time it was 15 year old pack of seeds and I said, mom, like I, they'll probably sort through them, but what if they don't? <laughs> like, do you really want to give away 16, 15 year old seeds? Like, I don't know if anybody will take it. Um, so I just put them in my pack, in my bag. Um, and then they just like sat around for another year. So I was going through a bag a couple of months ago and as often happens, I came across seeds, but this time it was this pack of seeds, this old pack of seeds. And you can see the date says 2005 on it. Come on, there we go. Yeah, 2005. And so, um, <laughs> 11.05, so I guess it was November of 05 is when they were packed. And um, I thought it would be fun to do an experiment, there's a good amount of seeds in here. I haven't checked the exact number. I had taped it down. I haven't checked the exact number, but there's a good amount of seeds in here and I'm just gonna put them, oh yeah, there's a good amount of seeds. I'm gonna put them all in one jug. Now, I know, and some of you might comment that you can figure out whether plants are um, able to germinate by doing like a, a, a moist paper towel but I just think it'd be fun to do a jug of these and see if we get some beefsteak tomatoes out of it. I just think it'd be a really fun experiment to see if they'll grow. We've got a jug prepped. I'm ready to fill. And I pre-moistened the soil. The soil I'm using is, hap uh, is Fox Farm Ocean Forest potting mix. I've pre-moistened it, like I said. I'm gonna do like we would in any winter sowing process. Put about four inches, maybe a little bit more, because it does compress over time in the container. Maybe one more. Mm -hmm. well, let's see. I like to push it down a little because it helps both spread out the edges and kind of represent how the soil is going to look once it gets a little more compacted. Mm -hmm. Now normally I would dry off my hands before handling a seed um, thing because I don't want to get the seeds wet. But in this case we're really just gonna be planting all of these. And I'm not, I don't even feel a need to do, that's all of them. I don't even feel a need to like use my little seed distributor thing. Cause I like to count them out and then journal out and all of that. But in this case, we just have a lot of 
tomato seeds and I am just sprinkling them. I'm doing the scatter sprinkle over this. Now, if I'm unlucky, all of them will sprout. <laughs> I don't know what we'll do. But I don't think 16-year-old seeds are going to have a 100% germination rate. If we get a 1% germination rate, it's probably close to 100 seeds or 50 at least, then we'll be happy. All right, I'm going to add another layer of soil on top of this. And since I didn't dig the seeds in, you know, with bigger seeds, you kind of create holes to put them in. But in this case, since I scattered them, I'm just going to put a nice... Thickish, not too, you don't you don't want it too thick. That might even be a little too much. Because you want it to be relatively shallow for the seeds. You want to give these guys all the help they can get. Alright. There we have it. And I pre-made the label. I have the 16-year-old seeds on it. Beef steak tomato. Um I'm gonna put that on the thing. If I break a step now, then I'll forget to do the step another time, so it won't hurt them to have more water anyway. Seeds are never, ever gonna have too much water, in my opinion. And now I need to, now I do need to dry my hands and to tape. Mm -hmm. Got bright orange tape. We ran out of the white tape, so we're going bright orange today, folks. Bright orange. And now I just need my paint pen. Oh, paint pen, where are you? There you are. And these are beef steak tomatoes. Now I should know how to, is it like steak or steak? Like if you're having beef steak. All right, AK, tomatoes. Today is the 28th. And now we just have to take these outside and put them with the rest of the jugs and wait to see what we get. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please stay tuned as probably mid-March I'm going to start doing weekly checks of our experiments and all the jugs to see where they're at, um, including these tomato seeds that we just sowed. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button if you did. If uh, you aren't already a subscriber and you want to make sure you see the results, please go ahead and subscribe. And as my dog serenades us with her squeaker toy, <laughs> um, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and see you next time.